Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japandy, I'm going to be talking to you about my experiences living cashless in Japan. Coming up. All right, I'm recording. Ying yang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandy. In today's episode, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about my experiences living cashless in Japan. And just for some clarification, by cashless, I don't mean being completely broke in Japan, but rather using cash alternatives such as my Passmo card or my credit card if I'm going to department stores. Now, the idea for this video came about from a lot of Japan based videos where they would talk about how Japan is largely a cash based society. Most shops don't take cards, it's all cash only. Over the past few years, and especially past few months, considering、uh, what's all going around,、um, Japan has been expediting the usage of cashless options, namely train cards as well as some credit cards in certain stores. And I decided, with more stores accepting cashless alternatives, to、uh, try to live as cashless as possible out in Japan, or even if it was possible at all. Here are my experiences. With Japan, like I said, it is largely a cash based society, and there are a lot of instances where you have to pay in cash, and it can vary from store to store. Like,、uh, there's some places, like if you go to like a, a food truck or something like that, it's cash only. Also, paying bills is cash only. So, if you go to the k o n v e n i e n c with your、uh, little bill you get in the mail and、uh, cash it in,、uh, they'll only accept cash. They won't accept、uh, the Passmo card or anything like that. Um, same with medical bills. So, I had to get some dental work done, which I'm going to be doing an upcoming video talking about. And they don't accept cash. Another thing that hasn't been given a cashless option is laundry. So, out here in Japan, with the coin based laundry,、um, it is coin based. So,、um, there are some laundry services that have some kind of card set up, but、uh, they're pretty few and far between. So, for the most part, You gotta use the,、uh, the coin in the coin laundry. But for pretty much everything else, I was actually able to get by just fine in Japan just using my Passmo card. So if I were to go to、uh, the convenience store, the grocery store, whatever, pick up something to eat,、um, it was actually pretty easy to、uh, get things cashed out with、uh, either my Passmo card or with my credit card for certain stores. And、uh, same with、uh, department stores. Like usually if I'm buying a whole lot of stuff at like Don Quixote or something like that, Using my credit card is a perfectly viable option. Yeah, I was actually really surprised with、uh, how easy it is to live cashless in Japan. So, right now, I have a full breakdown of my expenses for my Passmo card. And I got this on the Android store. It's called Suica Cable. It's an app that allows you to scan your card using the NFC reader on the back of your phone. So, you just pop it on every couple days. And it'll keep track of all your expenses. And if you get the premium version, the paid version, then it allows you to keep like a full log of all your expenses. And it was actually this app that let me know that my original Passmo card, because this is the one I got when I was first stationed out in Yokosuka, it let me know that there was actually an active balance on there and that I could still use it when、uh, I would arrive in Japan. And it even has like old logs from my last time out in Yokosuka, like five years ago. So if you get the paid version, you can get like an unlimited log length. But if you get the regular version, it only allows you to keep your first、uh, 20 transactions. And that's another thing to keep in mind is that this card can only hold up to, I think, like 20 or 25 transactions. So that's why you gotta scan it every few days, especially if you use it a lot. And、uh, it'll allow you to keep track of、uh, what you're spending your money on. For the month of September, I spent 62,493 yen, or about $610, $615 American. 6,435 yen on train costs, that's about 60, 62 bucks. Then I spent 440 yen, or about four bucks, on the bus. Then I spent 4,366 yen on vending machines, or about 40 bucks. Okay, hi, editor Andy here. And、uh, something I noticed while working on this video is the huge amount of money. That I supposedly spent on vending machines. I know for a fact I didn't spend quite that much on vending machines last month. And one of the things that I'm thinking is、uh, for some of the things I purchased at the Kamini, it's counting it as a vending machine purchase. So most likely drinks. So drinks that I buy at the Kamini and stuff like that, it's counting as a vending machine purchase.、Um, I don't know for sure. There hasn't been any、uh, documentation on the app that says this, but、uh, that's just a little theory. 
your boy has here. So I just want to let y'all know that I'm not spending quite that much money on vending machines and that I'm not buying too much Mitsuya Peach. There is no such thing as too much Mitsuya Peach. And with that said, let's get back to the video. And the rest of it, 51,252 yen, or about 505 bucks American, was spent at uh, the store. In most cases was convenience store, either buying food or uh, other supplies, whether it's like uh, soap or uh, cleaning supplies or, you know, like a scented stick diffuser <laughs> off on the side here. It's hard to get like a full breakdown as far as what I spent it on. You know, as far as did I spend it on food, did I spend it on toiletries? clothes, whatever, but uh, this will at least give you a general idea of what you spent your money on. It also shows you how many kilometers you've traveled on train and the bus. So for the month of September, I, I traveled 236 kilometers. Definitely check out the, uh, the Suica Cable app on Android. I believe they also have one for uh, Apple Store as well, but uh, I'm an Android user, so can't say for certain, but uh, definitely check it out. And uh, the paid version, I think is like five, 10 bucks or whatever. It's not really that much. And I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you want to track your uh, spending over a longer period of time. Definitely check that app out. And this is a uh, hashtag, not an ad. So uh, I just really love the app. So, so overall, my experience is trying to live cashless in Japan. I was really surprised by how many stores had cashless paying options. I believe that it's only going to get uh, more pervasive as time goes on. And I think more stores and more services are going to have cashless paying options. And uh, really looking forward to seeing that. Also keep in mind that uh, yes, Japan is a cash based society. So there are some things that you do have to pay for in cash. So always have a couple extra bills stacked away just in case. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sound. Sign up for now. And as always, forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.